So just starting from the beginning of your relationship with the Common Good card, why was the Common Good card something that the brew wanted to adopt? Well, to me, when I first heard about the, the Common Good card, it, it sort of uh, excited me because to me it creates a circle of relationships, of businesses in this case, that kind of continue to, to kind of help each other and it keeps money locally, but it really just creates this community of businesses that actually are helping each other. To me, it strengthens the downtown in this case, and it also strength, strengthens the businesses that we have. So it just made a lot of sense to me that as a Goshen downtown, we already have a, a lot of community built, but this just helps strengthen it, in, in my opinion. Um, so about the business, did you, like the business end of it, did you see value there as well? Well. To, to me, if if I have a a gift certificate or a gift card or something that's connected to a local business, and I have that in my pocket, I might be different than other people. I know some people lose their cards and so on. But for me, it's like when I want to go out to eat and I have a a gift card or a gift certificate, I'm thinking first of all of the business that I have the card to. So to me, it puts businesses who are concerned and care about downtown, local, buy local type of things, if they have this card, in my, in my opinion anyways, they're going to think first of buying in those businesses. So yeah, it kind of diverts the, the top of the list to, in this case, myself, uh, this business. Uh, I, I think it just puts you right at the top of the list of people who have those cards. So about the brew, like what kind of community space do you want the brew to be and how does the common good card help fit that? Well, from the very beginning the brew has been uh, a gathering place. We wanted to be a gathering place, we wanted to be a place in the community where people come to gather, to hang out, to study, to meet people, to have family, get together, you know, whatever. And so gathering place is the is why we exist. Relationships are why we exist. You know, I hammer home to my employees, relationship is what makes this place different. And so to me, uh, the common good card is a uh, an attempt to build relationships. Uh, although if it gets huge, you don't have relationships uh, with everyone. But to me, it's it's people who come to the brew, who come here for relationships, and have relationships with us and or the community. This is just another another tool that drives people to relationships. So if it can enhance relationship at the brew and in our community, to me, it's a great thing. <laughs> Good answer. Um, so, shifting gears to a little bit more practically, mm -hmm. like how did the implementation process go for you? Yeah, so uh, first of all, I, I got a personal card, then I got a business card. So you have to have two, two accounts, one personal, and in this case, because we have a business, I have to have a business account. So I opened those two accounts, and then I just started buying things for myself to watch how it happened. <laughs> and so it was just, I was just cycling the money in and out, basically, and, but I wanted to watch the process. And once we started to launch sort of the micro, micro pilot of this, I, I went through the whole process on paper and I just step one, two, three, four, and five as I walked through the process myself. And then I, then I came down and I had a, a phone down here that had the app already open up and I gave the piece of paper to one of my employees and I said, now just follow the instructions, don't ask me any questions. And, and so she looked at me and said, what's this for? I said, well, just, just trust me, just do it. I, I wanted to see how easy it was or how difficult it was in terms of just walking through the process of a, a sale coming through. And she looked at it and she kind of went through and she goes, oh, okay, I get it. And, and she just went through it w without a hitch. And so the implementation was at that point then, I just posted that paper down here. I explained to employees that this is a new program that we're trying, we're testing. And so you're going to have a few customers come in, very few customers come in, and they're going to do this. So follow the instructions. And if you have any questions, let me know. Nobody had any questions. I mean, the, the newbies coming in would kind of dance around with a little bit, and after one time, they, they had it figured out. So that whole process was pretty easy. Now, you know, the front end when a customer comes in has been almost flawless. It, we've had a few glitches here and there as, as things go, go on, but they're so minor. We have probably more glitches with the iPad. That we ha that we use for Square than we do with the phone that we use for uh, for uh, Common Good, so that part of it has been very easy. The, the backside then uh, is a little bit more tricky in terms of uh, from an accounting perspective. 
I had to wrap my brain about around what this really is. And finally, maybe it's just me, I just looked at it as another bank account. So when money goes into that, it's just like another bank account. If I have an account, a uh, bank account at for source, and I have a checking and a savings, uh, I might have two checkings or whatever I have, this then just becomes sort of another bank account, and I have to treat it just that way. So when income comes in, that kind of stuff, you just treat it as another bank account. And once you kind of work through that and understand how you want to treat it at the end of the month when you close that month's books, then it becomes a little more routine. But that, that's a little bit more tricky. And for an accountant, they'd probably just breeze through it and it's no problem. But for me, it was a little bit more, I had to understand that. So that's, that was sort of the whole process. And as a whole, it's not been any, uh, a lot of hassle either way. What's changed since you started using the card? How has the process been going since you've been using the card? Well, like I said, right at first, I had to sort of help my employees understand what this was, and they would say, "Well, what is what is this whole the whole concept?" Well, local economy, currency, you know, this whole thing. And after a while, they didn't really care. And I mean, it was sort of like, "Okay, we got that figured out." Then it just became another process of it. And after after we got rolling with it, I I don't even the only way I know what happens down here in terms of the common good sales is when I get a report at the end of the day and says, okay, you had this much. So I hardly ever pay any attention to the process down here anymore. So that's almost all, always taken care of. So transition has been fairly easy. I think it's a, uh, it, if, if a person decides they want to do this for the right reasons, for the reasons that I, I feel are important, the rest of it is not that, is not that difficult to, to work through. Um, so you touched on this a little bit, but kind of building off that, what are those reasons and those values, and maybe specifically the community fund that you contribute to? So I, I think there's a couple of reasons. One is, is I, I touched on the relationships. I think it's, it's huge for relationships. I think it, it demonstrates a relationship, a value in relationships that we have as a community. I think secondly, it builds a loyalty. Uh, for example, I think, uh, I touched on it just a little bit. If I have this card, I'm going to think, first of all, of going to a business that, that honors that card and that money goes into. So I think it builds that loyalty. And I think another thing, uh, and, and there's probably maybe five or six reasons I could think of, but maybe the third reason would be is uh, two thirds, almost two thirds of all of our revenue is paid for with credit card. So we pay 2.75% for credit card fees and sometimes it's more than that for different, depends what kind of program you have. There is no transaction fee on this card. So <clears throat> that immediately, of course, the 2.75 always leaves the county. It goes to some bank out there in Massachusetts or wherever it's at, and, and they, get, they get that money. So that money stays locally, which means that either I have more money to, to use in, in, in buying locally or pay my employees or whatever it is. And I know at this point it's just nickels and dimes, but, but that money stays locally and just gets recycled. And so I think that would, the, the next thing then, of course, would be the more money you spend locally and keep local, uh, the better businesses do. If, if all of our money that we spend in Elkhart County was spent and respent locally, I mean, the economy would be phenomenal in Elkhart County. Now, that's not possible, but we, you know, what if we start circulating some of that money locally? I think that just makes our businesses, all businesses, stronger. And then you chose to turn on the crumbs feature, is that right? Can yes. You, mm -hmm. Can you explain what that is and why you did that? I'll try to explain the crumbs. Yeah. Uh, so it, it's, it's sort of the idea that uh, if we give crumbs, if we give enough crumbs to, to someone, they get fed. And so a small portion of all the sales that we have uh, go back to a, a, a not-for-profit that would um, that would get those those uh, common good credits and they would be able to use that for whatever they use it for and uh, so to me it's like okay well I'm just giving back to the community the community has been extremely good to the brew and I think we just owe it back to give at least at least the crumbs if not more to our community so that's sort of the way that the, the philosophy of that is it's a way of giving back to the community um, so if another business came to you and said, we see that you're doing this, we're thinking about doing this, what advice would you have for that business? I'd say get on the, on the diving board and jump off. I mean, it's not that big a deal. Uh, I think each business, uh, okay, for, uh, as I explained on the front end, I think it's been extremely easy. The back end, I think a business should 
uh, consult their accountant and say exactly how do I deal with this because every business is different and uh, so I, I'm not about to get into accounting <laughs> advice for anybody uh, talk to your accountant and make sure you get it set up right and I think after a month or two you're gonna do it without even thinking it's just gonna be a normal process uh, some of the challenges probably are more um, uh, that it's not set up as easily to do tips so if you're a restaurant it doesn't it's supposed to. I, I haven't seen it work. E I, I haven't figured out how to do it easily yet, which doesn't affect us uh, because we have another another uh, point of sale, and we figure our tips and stuff in that, and and so on. So it's it's easier for us, but I think it could be a challenge for certain restaurants on the application of it. So that could be a challenge, um, but you know, really, those are sort of minor details. I, I think I think at least in in my opinion, my experience. Uh, the sort of the hassles or the challenges have been fairly minor and it and it hasn't deterred me from you know the the the, the ease of use of this uh, of this product